Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part nine of working with numbers in the operators and methods unit, and now we're gonna do times equals. If you've seen the previous couple of videos, this is going to be very similar. So it's just an operator that gives us a little bit of a shorthand way to do something that might occur. Basically, we reassign a value to be itself multiplied by some new value. Let's go ahead and, oh, this is not a great example. And I think it's because I'm not really sure of a way to come up with a real world example for how this works. Um, maybe you could have like your salary and then your salary multiplied by like a, like a multiplier, like, Hey, you're going to be earning twice your salary. So your salary times equals two. Um, yeah, let's do that one. Salary is going to be equal to $1 million. That's a million, right? That's 10 million. Sweet. So our salary is now $10 million for some reason, and it's going to be tripled because we are just that, that good. So multiplier is three. So we could say salary times equals our multiplier so that our current uh, salary after generous raise is going to be equal to our salary. Let's go ahead and run this, and we'll see that our salary is now $30 million. Woo and who. Anyway, let's do the times equals challenge. Uh, if you are bored of my reading out the entire problem, that is okay. Watch it in fast forward motion. But if you are not, you're going to start developing a very nice set of habits. So keeping with those habits and not being lazy, at least not yet, we're going to complete a function that takes in two number parameters, base and multiplier, and returns the result of reassigning the base to be the base multiplied by the multiplier. Your function should reassign base to the result of multiplying base by multiplier using the times equals operator then return base. Below is an example of the code running, assuming you will have completed the described function. So apply times equals and result multiplied. There's our test. Let's grab our stub, bring it over, grab the test case, bring that over. And we're reassigning base to be the result of multiplying base by multiplier, which is going to be, as we saw, the times equals operator, multiplier and then we're going to return the base. So if we run this and we see 15, we are in initially good shape. We'll grab our completed function, bring it back over to the input window, paste it. The kind of shape we're going to be in today is transcendent. So we'll run transcendent shape. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.